All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the garage. We've got the 2022 Tesla Model Y in the garage here. We made it home. Uh, it's been a few days since we, since we just picked it up. Uh, if you watch the delivery video, I, I, I uh, published that a few days ago. So I've had it in the garage, super happy with the car. It's been awesome. I want to go over a few things with the car uh, that we've kind of learned uh, owning it just a couple days. And then we've got a bunch of accessories that I've collected over the last eight, nine, 10 months. This car actually took me 11 months to get. I ordered it in August of 2021. I picked it up in August of 2022. So it was almost a whole year waiting for this car. This is a, this is black on black, the black wheel, 20 inch wheels, but it's got the seven seat and the tow hitch. And from what I understand, that's really the, the bottleneck with these cars. If you have those, that kind of configuration. And so, so long range is just taking a lot longer than the performance models. But when you pick these cars up from the service center, you saw, you saw my delivery video where I went through like a checklist of everything. They said, if you don't get everything within, with, you know, on your initial delivery of the vehicle, you can submit a service request within 100 miles or 24 hours. So you kind of have a window to kind of check things out. If there's any, any issues, problems, you can report those to the Tesla app. On the service tab, you can schedule an appointment and then get it taken care of. Well, I had to do that. So, for example, <clears throat> one, thing that, one thing that we couldn't verify just sitting in the parking lot was kind of the alignment. And I heard a few people say they had to take theirs in for an alignment issue. And we, we drove probably 30, 40 miles on the highway kind of just testing things out, kind of back and forth from the service, from the delivery center to home. And I noticed it's a slight pull to the left in the alignment. So I, I, I immediately just created a, a service request for that. And that's going to get taken care of on the 16th. So I submitted that on the 1st. It's not going until the 16th. So the, the service centers are kind of backed up, at least the one in my area. There's only one. And, you know, it's just hard. It's just, it just takes a few weeks to get an appointment. So just uh, be aware of that, you know, testing out the full, the, 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 the driving dynamics and characteristics that you're gonna have to do on the road and that you can submit a request, but the alignment, I want to get, I'm going to get that fixed. So this car was actually built in July of 2022. It tells you on the window sticker when it was built, but this was actually a Fremont build. You can actually tell when your car was built or what, what factory it was built at based on the VIN number. If you look at the VIN number, the 11th letter in the VIN, says F for Fremont, A for Austin, B for Berlin, uh, etc. So this was a Fremont build, so it's got the 2170 cells. I wasn't expecting it to come from Texas. I mean, I live in northern Utah, and so Fremont's actually not too far away from where this was delivered, which is the Salt Lake City Delivery Center, which I, I was fine with. But I did get someone from someone, uh, one of the viewers did ask about, do I get the free one year premium connectivity service because but I ordered before October of 2021 if you order before October 2021 you got one year of free premium premium connectivity which basically means the car has its own cell service or its cell own cell plan and you get <clears throat> live traffic updates streaming uh, streaming like audio services music services and things like that I think it's worth having now if you order now or if you order after October it's only 30 days now when I got in the car you actually have to subscribe to it. So when you go in the car under the screen under the men menu, it looks like you're subscribing and paying $9.99 a month, $9.99 a month, but it's not. I, I thought I'd just get in the car and the free premium connectivity would be already on there, but it's not. You have to actually have to hit, hit the su subscribe button to, to get that service. Okay, also back when I, August, I ordered in August of 2021, the the configuration included the, the, the mobile connector, which would be included. Now, it does only include the 110 outlet. I'll show you what that means. But um, those that are ordering cars right now, this is August of 2022. You have to buy the mobile connector separately. It's a $200 option. And that was included. So Tesla made, made good on their premium connectivity, the mobile connector. And the, the, one of the last things I want to tell you guys about real quick is the free supercharging miles. Now, I use my own uh, referral link to refer myself to buy the Tesla. So back in August of 2021, they still had their referral program where if you referred someone, they bought a car and took delivery of it, you would get a thousand free supercharged miles. So I used my own link. It showed up in my account as an order was placed. And then now it shows delivered and I was able, now I, now I have my free supercharged miles so I can do a road trip in this car and not have to pay for supercharging for a thousand miles of supercharging. So I was super happy with that, that Tesla kind of honored that old order from all, all of last year. So I got all those things that were promised from August of 2021 when I ordered it. 
All right, I'm still learning about the car. I own a Tesla Model S, a P85D, and then we also owned a 2016 Model X. So we've had a couple Teslas in the past. <clears throat> I figured this would be similar, and, and the, driving, the, driving, the driving of it is very, very similar compared to the other two Teslas. But one thing I want to point out, I didn't know this before, maybe it's my, maybe it's my problem for not doing better research, but this does not include the full self-driving option. I didn't do the full self-driving, I didn't do enhanced autopilot. Those are all extra charges, $6,000 or $12,000 for those kind of options. I figured my car, my, my, the one I drive normally, that I've been driving for the last two years is a 2015 Tesla Model S. It has the autopilot generation one. So it's got the first generation autopilot. And with that car, it has the adaptive cruise control, the auto steer, and then it also has, when you put the blinker on, the, it changes lane into the next lane, and then you take the blinker off and, you're, and, you're, and, and it changes those lanes. I figured this has just the base autopilot in it, so I figured, okay, it's gonna do those same exact things as my 2015 did. Guys, I was in for a surprise to learn that it doesn't do that. It will do the, it will do the distance cruise control, radar cruise control, it will do the auto steer, but when you go to you hit the blinker to change lanes, it will not move into that lane for you. You have to move into that lane and re-engage autopilot every kind of every time you're changing lanes, which I thought was kind of that was a surprise to me. I'm surprised they don't don't do that. So I have to subscribe to either enhanced autopilot or full self-driving to get that kind of lane change feature. So uh, there is a hack. I'll show you guys the hack to to kind of get around that a little bit to kind of make it a little easier to re-engage autopilot every time. Every time you want to, uh, you know, change lanes, go around a car, things like that. And now let's talk about accessories, guys, because over the last uh, probably nine, ten months since I ordered this car, I have kind of amassed a bunch of accessories. I want to show you these guys. I want to get them installed and kind of go through and talk about which ones, kind of how they work and which ones will be good for the Model Y. All right, guys, check out this accessory here. I bought this almost six months ago thinking I was going to get the car in, in like January. And uh, it's now August, obviously, but this has been sitting in my garage and I'm, I, this is probably the accessory that I'm probably the most uh, concerned about installing because I'm going to do this myself. This is a full paint protection kit, not a full car, almost a full car paint protection kit. I found this on a seller on eBay. I'll leave a link to this, but I'm, uh, I'm excited to get this installed because this is an all black car and this, you know, kind of solid black color is going to leave a lot of scratches especially in the front because that front just has that bumper that's just gonna, going to collect rocks, bugs, dirt, debris is going to hit that on the highway. So it's got the full bumper, the hood, the front fenders, and then all four doors, and then it's got a back treatment as well. So this is going to be fun to, to be able to do this. So I'm not an expert on installing this. So if you want to uh, you know, see a guy really struggle to install this, stay tuned to the channel because we're going we're gonna to get this installed here uh, in just a few days. Okay, a couple of our other accessories here are going to be these mats. We actually got these from Tap Test. They actually sent me these mats to try out in the car, so we're going to try these things out. They're actually really cool. They've got a nice feel to them, lightweight, nice grip back surface. So here's our two, there's our two front ones. And then because this is the seven seat option, this is the seven seat. This is like the third row mat. Not really much of a mat there, but uh, you know there is some. There is a little bit of foot room back there for for those to go. And then. This is going to be our second row, so these really fit. These really fit the car pretty well. Let's, let's we're going to get these put in here. Okay, when I was telling you about the mobile connector, the mobile connector, when you buy, the, now you have to buy the mobile connector, but it comes with this. This is the one one ten outlet, so this is just going to be a plug into a regular outlet. If you want to be able to plug into a the NEMA fourteen fifty outlet, if you get one of those wired in your house. You need to buy this adapter to fit into this and so I bought this because I also I have the 1450 outlet that I can use this to plug into so you're gonna to want to have that so that was kind of uh, another accessory you're gonna to want to have it comes with this model Y license plate plate frame a chrome one I don't think I'm gonna put this on because I don't really like the look of with this being all blacked out I like the look of the black license plate frames I picked up this silicone license plate frame I actually have the other one on my truck but it's nice that it's rubber, or it's a silicone material, it's lightweight, it kind of wraps around the edge of the license plate, kind of giving it a nice look. And I was happy, and now I don't know if every state does this, but Tesla did not install the front license plate frame, which I'm super happy, because you have to, you have to drill a hole 
two holes into your into your bumper. So Tesla just gave me the holder. I'm not putting on my front license plate. I think I have to, none of my cars have the front license plate on and so I've never gotten I never had any problems with that, but I'm not putting the front license plate on. This is a carbon fiber overlay for the wood trim that's in the front of the car. There's really just that one piece of wood trim in there and uh, I thought the carbon fiber would look a little bit better. This is kind of like a matte, it's got like a matte finish to it. It just actually connects right behind the screen so you really can't see where the two pieces connect. So that one's going to be super, super uh, handy. I think it's going to make the interior look a little bit better just because I think the wood stands out a little bit. It just, not that it's an eyesore, it just kind of looks odd that it's got wood trim in this kind of modern looking car. So a couple of these other accessories, I, I featured these on the channel before. A company called Jawa sent me these accessories. So big shout out to them, guys. I'll leave a link to, the, to these in the description. So there's a couple trays for the for the center for the center console and the armrest holder. This one has a light flashlight. This is the USB hub that fits inside the center console there. And we have our kind of three-way USB plug. I'll show you how that works. And then we've got some gaming controllers for the games on the car. For the interior here, we've got our uh, center console and armrest storage trays. This one here has this light that fits right here. This can be motion activated or it can be used as a flashlight. So that when you if we put it on motion activated, it'll be a it'll turn on when we open up the armrest. But it also fits to where we can take that out and you have access to the storage underneath. So you have storage in there and you have nice deep storage. This actually goes all the way back to here. You have a 12 volt outlet right right there. And it actually leaves access to that. So even when you have the tray in, you have access to that 12 volt source and a nice non slip surface there. We've got our cup holder in. This cup holder is nice because it has a little slot for the key card. So if you need to use the key card, you can just slip it right underneath that slot there. And then in this front center console area, this little tray here actually just slides on the. So there's a little, there's a little lip right here, and it actually just slides forward and back so you've got kind of two-tiered storage in this area so you have really deep storage down here and then you have this tray that you can put items in and then this is this um, lighted up USB uh, console hub console and it's got a light here so it's actually just on and off right there so it helps you kind of see down below but this plugs into the two USB USB C outlets that are there and then it gives you two USB C's and then the USB A here and then two USB A's here. So it really turns two into f almost uh, five, which is which is pretty nice. So these this is these are some cool accessories to really kind of maximize your storage in these console areas. Okay, another accessory that's nice to have is in the glove box. There is actually, if you look in your glove box, there's a little USB thumb drive here. 
Okay, see that? They actually, Tesla will include this. This is this has 128 gigabytes of storage. This is going to record like your dash cam, your sentry mode. So if people come around the car, it turns on the cameras, records it. So that's that's really cool. But there's a USB A outlet in here. So what this does is this actually turns this outlet into three devices. So see how it says camera on this one? So if I plug this into that like so, I can just reinsert this into there. And then I can get, for example, you can get a couple of these wireless controllers. Again, this was uh, sent to me by Jawa, these controllers here. But you can leave your controllers inside of your glove box. There's actually a great spot to put your controllers, your glove box. These are actually kind of compact controllers. They're not very thick, so they'll actually fit in there. But I can leave these plugged in there. All right, so we got our controllers plugged in, charging. And then we can just set those aside there. And that'll close up like that. So that's a great place for it. But with this, with this USB hub right here, you, you can also keep your controllers down here because you have those two USB-A outlets here. You can plug your chart, your controllers into there or here. So these accessories kind of really kind of, they give you a lot more charging options, which which is nice. It's nice to have controllers when, you're, when you want to play games. Like, well, for example, if we go into the uh, screen here, we go into Arcade. This is where it's going to have some different games for us to play. This one's fun, like this Beach Buggy Racing. You can race, you know, two-player split screen that's that's pretty fun the kids the kids really like playing that game so when you're parked at a supercharger or you know you're you're waiting for kids to get out of school you got kind of a fun you got a fun gaming system here and some of these require the controller so controllers are nice to have to be able to play those games all right guys well thanks for watching the video hopefully this was helpful entertaining we're super excited about this why we got all of our accessories so far installed here we still got to do the ppf that's going to be in a few days we're going to try to diy that we'll do the doors the hood the bumper We'll see how it goes. Never done it before, but uh, excited to try that. And then also stay tuned to a future video. I'm going to talk about all the numbers. I want to talk about the, uh, the the cost of the vehicle versus what the cost is now. Because when we got the window sticker for this, the window sticker was the current August 2022 prices, not the August 2021 prices. So it was actually a big discrepancy. Uh, however, we were able to only pay the August 2021 price. So our, our price was locked in when we ordered it, which was, which was great. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. Leave your comment down below. Hit subscribe and give a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.